Thank you for coming by and watching this video. If you enjoy this video or feel you've benefited from it, consider going to patreon.com forward slash newbiehack and support these efforts. You'll have access to 20 of my latest videos that hasn't been published on YouTube yet. So let's get into this code and clean it up a little bit. The first thing I'd like to do is create definitions for these bits. This will also help us understand how the circuit is connected to the, with the microcontroller and the LCD. So which pins and ports go to which data pins and the enable and read writes and register select. So let's set up the defines up here. I want to create something very understandable in, a, in the way that we have the circuit wired. And that would be LCD D0 through D7 would be my names for the define. So let's call this one LCD D0 pin, which will be 12. And we can define the LCD D0 port, which will be GPIO B. We'll do this for each connection. So we can just do a copy and paste. So the pin, next pin is number 13 and it's also B. That's gonna be D1. D2 on pin 14, port B. D3 on pin 15, and this is port B. And now for the port C, D4 and pin number six, seven, eight, and nine. For D5, D6, and D7. And the pins that I'm referring to are these pins, 12, 13, 14, 15, six, seven, eight, and nine, going to these LCD D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, and D7. So it really tells you how the circuit is, is put together. And if you need to make a change in the circuit, all you have to do is change the pin for the D0, which pin it's going to go to, and what port it's going to go to. And none of the program will have to change because it'll all, always be set here. And the program will use these defines within the, the function. So we're going to take this portion and put it into its own function and use those defines in that function. Instead of making a prototype, I'm just going to go ahead and make the function up here. At this point, I don't think it needs to have a return. So I'm going to have void. And I'll call it send bit to port and pin. And I'll have some inputs to this function. And it's going to be if we want to pass in the ports, we can get an idea of what the data type is by just hovering over one of the ports. And you can see it's GPIO type def. And you'll see it's a pointer. I'm just going to do a copy and paste of this. And then the pointer will, I'm just going to call it port. This will be the actual variable name. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be bringing in is the actual pin number. This number is only going to be a pretty small number. I'm just going to use an int for this. And then we actually have to send the bit, whether it's true or false. So we'll just call this, this will be a, okay, I don't think I can use bool in this language. Use an 8-bit integer unsigned, and it will be So I'll call it bit state for now. I don't know of a better variable yet. So we'll just take the this condition, and we'll copy it into, into that. All right, so we're going to replace the port here. So instead of using the port that we had hard coded, we're going to pass it in. And then this, we're going to use, I think we're going to use the bit reset register. So we're going to try, because you can see this number is at the fifth position, zero, no, fourth position, zero, one, two, actually the third position and this one is actually all the way over here so we want to use the same number pin number 
in the same way. So what we can do is we can actually just take out this S and we have a BRR. And you can see it's at the same position because this is the bit reset register and this is the bit set and reset register. And the bit re reset register is only a 16 bit. It only uses the first 16 bits. And the bit set reset uses all 32 bits, but the bits 16 through 32 are the reset bits. Okay, so now we have to change this to the reset register. And we're going to actually put the pin number here. And we're gonna use the, the shift, bitwise shift operation and remove this number. So by putting the pin number, let's say 12, it's going to it's going to put this pin number into a very long into the 32 bit number at the position so if the pin number is let's say 9 it is going to come over here and go 0 it's going to left shift it 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and a 9 so it'll actually put a 1 right here where we want it which we did for the setting and resetting when we were lighting up the LEDs in initially. And for the bit reset, we're gonna do the same thing. We don't actually have to make any changes to this portion of it because we want to reset at the same pin number since we're using the bit reset register and not the bit set reset register. Now the only thing we have to change now is the condition and this is gonna be the bit state. So we have created a much more tidy code for this bit of code here. So let's go ahead and invoke that. I'm just gonna take my prototype function and I'm going to copy and paste it here. And for this one, we're gonna use port B, GPIOB, and we're gonna use, pin number is gonna be 12. And the bit state will be this. Let's see, why doesn't this work? Oh, I have the void here. Okay. So this does the same thing as all of this. And we have made it so, actually, I don't want 12 to be there. I want to be using, I want to use the, the defines. So the define would be, this would be for the port and the pin. Okay. That's what I really want. See, D0 pin will be 12. You can see that it says here. And then the port will be the port for, uh, you can't, it's really difficult to read in this way, but you'll see that the 0, 8, and then the 4 in this position, if you look at here, it should show the same thing, the 8 and the 4. Yeah, so it's the correct port as defined here. Okay, so we can go ahead and erase this portion of it. And we're going to just do a copy and paste of all of these. We should have eight of them. This should be D0, D1, D1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, and then the last one, 7, and 7. And then this, has gonna ha this is going to have to change as well. So we'll have the masks going up in bits. So we're testing for this bit within the character. We're testing with this bit with the character, this bit with the character, and so on down the line. So we have just taken out a lot of code and made it much tidier and more readable. And we can also tidy up this. We can put this in its own function and we'll do that as well but I want to test this to make sure it works first. So I'm going to build it. Looks like we have no errors, everything is okay. And I'm going to flash it to the microcontroller. And as you can see we have the same result. The one with the five zeros and then the one and then the zero. So our program worked and we didn't have to actually put in the specific ports or pins in here. All we're doing is we're testing the character, we're testing the position of the character, and we're setting, sending it to the, D, the D0 through D7 ports and pins.
that's assigned to those pins. And just by looking at this, we can see how to wire the LCD using these defines. This is where you have to wire the pin 12 to the D0, pin 13 of port B to the D1, and so on. And we're not doing, we're not specifying any of that here in the code. In the next video, we'll tackle putting this into a single function so we can put out different characters. And we'll also tidy up this code because you, we want this to be able to follow the same convention using these defines as well.